Hello everyone, my name's Al, and welcome to some more StarCraft 2. Today, I've got a little bit of a match between a Protoss and a Zerg. Our first player from the Netherlands, we have Hostem. And his opponent, a very skilled Terran... Terran? That's not Terran, that's Zerg. A very skilled Zerg player from South Korea, we have Su. So this could be an interesting matchup between these two. One of the uh, stalwarts of Europe against um, the same from Korea. Su obviously has not hit kind of the same strides that he used to be at um, before going to the military, but yeah, he's still a good player. You can never write Su off. There's, uh, there's quality. First probe's gonna come in here and have a look around see what it can see for some reason sue likes to play with yellow there's a couple of games in this tournament where he was playing with yellow it was like oh, okay why but yeah apparently he just likes playing with yellow no idea <laughs> um everything seems pretty standard we're gonna see nexus into cybercore yeah there it is nice and clean Nothing too major, no crazy um, stars for this game. Just, ooh, that probe's just kind of chilling there, having a good time. Yeah. So, I said in the last video, but I'm going to say in this one as well. I have a new sound setup. So, I'm trying something new today. Um, I actually put the monitor on. It feels super weird. Just because I think I need to tweak the settings a little bit. Because my voice comes in a second after I actually speak. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm playing in stereo and it's creeping me out a little bit. So, if there's any sound issues, please don't hesitate to let me know. I will obviously be checking in editing. But, you know, something might slip by. Because sometimes I skip through a little bit of the editing. Um, yeah. Depending on how much time I have. At this stage, I'm still trying to pre-record a lot just to get a couple of decent videos out during the holiday period. But I probably won't do Christmas and around New Year's time. Just because yeah, I don't think I'll get enough videos out. At this stage, I'm doing two. I'm going to try and push for three videos a day. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, in terms of what's happening in this game, we're seeing the Stargate. Still favored by most Protosses. Some Protosses ha have started going for other stuff, but the Stargate with the Oracle, it just adds too much utility, utility that, you know, Protoss players can't go without it in the early game. Because it's all great and well to have your depth, but your depth can't really get into the base um, to have a look. So the Oracle, apart from being able to deal a lot of damage, it just gets some nice scouting information, etc, etc. Second gateway on the way up. Chrono boosting. The first oracle should be out and on the way across. Ugh, wrong button. Uh, Sue's already getting ready. He's got his spore crawlers on the way. Spreading the creep a little bit. Queen's in good position. Yeah, I don't think too much damage is gonna go gonna be done. So he should be fine. Um, what do I see on the set? Oh, third base on the way up. Yeah, pretty decent. Nice. <laughs> Gets rid of the spool crawler with the Oracle. Can't complain about that. I don't even think that was a cancel. I think that was a, a kill. Which means that's wasted resources. Not much, but it's something. Every little bit counts. Bunch of drones. Sue's just droning hard and... Eva chamber behind this. Alright, we have two oracles. Ooh, wait, hang on. Setting. Alright, I realized the health boss weren't turned on. Um, that was obviously when I took a screenshot. My bad. Twilight into Forge. Absolutely standard. We're gonna see some Zerglings marching across. They look weird in yellow. I don't know if I like it. Ooh, gonna pick up a worker. Not gonna pick up a worker. Yeah, no. Fine, okay. Don't pick up a worker then. 
Are these oracles gonna go after them? We'll just keep an eye on them. I think the energy is too low. Ah, 25. They don't have enough energy to activate. Robo on the way as well as charge. So these two players ah, straight into Templar Archives. I always like to see the Templar Archives. Um, yeah, the High Templar is a good unit. Which surprisingly in all of the balance patches that are up and coming. Three workers killed there by the way. Um, the High Templar got a little bit of a bug. Which is a bit odd. I don't know. I guess... But if you had to think about it, because I'm trying to think now, why are High Templar not used a bit more at the pro level? So in Protoss versus Terran, it's obvious. Ghosts. Ghosts destroy the High Templar. Um, you're much better off going with Disruptors, which are a little bit more tricky to counter. But against Zerg, I guess Disruptors are also pretty good. But yeah, it's interesting. I think the High Templar is going to become more popular again. It's not that they weren't weak and it's not that they weren't used. I just feel like um, the Disruptor was used a lot more than the High Templar. High Templar often were just morphed into Archons. Which I think is actually just Hostum's plan right now. It's just going into Archons. So yeah, they got a buff. They got almost the double buff because of the Ghost nerfs. So... Yeah, that'll be an interesting uh, thing. I think they're going to come... I think they're going to be used a lot. Just my predictions. I could be wrong. Uh, there's Storm. It's on the way. The Protoss armor is marching across the map. A couple of Zealots ready to charge in. The Observers here helping to clear some of that creep. This uh, Ling run by. I don't think it got too much done. No. Drone count's pretty... Or drone count. Rookie kill count pretty low so far. I want to see phoenixes. That's an interesting choice. I wonder what made him go into phoenixes because there are there's no spire, so he doesn't need to worry about mutilisk. There was a hydrogen building. Where is it? There's the roaches. Am I crazy? Why could I could swear I saw a hydrogen? lot of roaches at this point. Maybe it was just the roach warren. Okay. Well, Sue is uh, mounting up for a big attack. He has a lot of roach ravager here. Getting some bandings. He's got some Zerglings. And at this stage, Hostum's army... Um, well, where is it, first of all? It's, it, it's not very big. Okay, so... I think Sue needs to jump on this. Okay, there's a bunch of High Templar. There's five High Templar. Gonna get some storms. Not the best binding connections. Only four workers killed. And well, the Zealot run by chases the army back. So Arsene buying himself quite a lot of time there. Hello, Queens. Are you on a stroll? Did you get lost? Why are you here? <laughs> a little bit of a miscontrol with the Queens. Okay, after cleaning up at home. He is gonna push. Yeah, he's gonna push into the third base. And what seems to be the fourth base at the same time. I think he wanted to get more bandings there, but running a little bit low on gas. Couple of storms coming out here. Force fields keeping those zergings at bay. Sue's taking it very slow. He's not over pushing into this position, because obviously there are shield batteries. There's only one actually. A couple of cannons though, helping with some DPS. Now, yeah, solid defense there from Awesome. Not taking too much in the way of losses and buying himself time to get some more units out. I want to see him get more out because he's got the high Templar and he's got a bunch of Archons. A couple of Immortals, but otherwise, not much. Sue has been aggressively pushing the creep in this direction, so. It's almost up to Hostum spaces. Um, four more High Templar on the way. Nice. Yeah, Sue, very, very dangerous in this. This is where he shines. This mid um, game point of any match. Mid game point. Wow. You know what I mean. That was a terrible sentence. 
but he loves the stage and he loves throwing his armies into his opponents and just macroing behind it, rinsing and repeating. Oh, he's playing very... a lot less committed. I don't like this. I don't like the pulling the entire army back to deal with a couple of zealots. That seems so... That seems like something I would do, which, I mean, this is Sue. Sue's much better than that. But yeah, he pulls the entire army back to deal with it. All he could do is send a couple of Zerglings. A uh, bit more than a couple, but, you know. Spire is on the way. More Phoenixes. And Fleet Beacon, Stargate, so Hostum's gonna go into that air army. And I'm thinking that he's... Spire is going to be for Corruptors to deal with that. Okay, Archon's trying to make themselves thick, get a lot of Bailing Seeds against them. Those are some solid storms. That was a lot of damage there. Just dealt by storms. Okay, something happened on this side. At the same time, Zealots are getting some work done on this side. Now, hostum has been pretty relentless with these uh, Zealot run -bys. And they've been doing a lot for him, because every time he does it, he buys himself a bit more time. Oh, it wasn't a run by, it was the war prism. Ooh, get the war prism out! Ooh. Twelve health remaining. That was very close. Great Aspire straight on the way. How many war prisms? austin has got two war prisms. I didn't even notice that on the production. That's pretty cool. I mean... Hostum used to have two war prisms. So yeah, able to do double harassment with it. I like that. That's actually very, very cool. Supply is still quite heavily in favor of Sue, but that's in army. Hostum has um, more workers. I think maybe this is why Sue has been struggling since coming back, because the meta in this matchup has changed. Protoss players are building an eco that is equivalent to the Zergs. I mean, we're sitting on 83 workers. And I think Sue is used to making a game scrappy before that. And, um, you know, just throwing army upon army at the opponents. And I think it doesn't quite work so well anymore because, you know, the Protoss just has this giant economy behind it. I could be wrong. It's just me theorizing. It's a lot of Zerglings. It's a very Zergling heavy army against Archons and High Templar. I'm not the biggest fan of the Zergling crowd. I would have liked to see a tech up into Lurkers or something. I mean, he catches them in a good position. Yeah, gets rid of an Archon. Ask them at this stage, he's just trying to get his carriers out. See what those war prism can be. I mean, Sue is seasoned, so I don't know if he's gonna get anything. This is a nice little run by here. War prism is gonna go in. And gonna get some more damage done. The corruptors are gonna shut down these drops. This base was cancelled, but a couple of probes, a couple of drops falling each. Now that's another war prism done, and that is the harassment for Hostum done. I don't think he's going to go for another one for harassment, especially since there are Corruptors out, and Corruptors do deal with that very fine. Sue really needs to think about a transition here. Yeah, it's great going into the Corruptors. He, he might be going through boards, actually, now that I think about it. How many Corruptors does he have? Eleven. Where are they? So I think as soon as he can, he's going to move some of them to blue belt. Uh, I say that. Picking off this base over and over again is going to make it hard for the Protoss player. That being said, Hostum is pretty much maxed out. Armies are pretty good. The upgrades are equal. We do see the air, air upgrades. The weapon upgrades coming from carriers. It's very helpful. This is a scary Protoss army. The... Carriers with Archons and then the High Templar. That's a lot of damage. Mothership on the way. Always love to see the Mama ship. And at this stage, Sue needs to start burning some of his supply because he's going to need anti-air. Not too much. 
but just enough to deal with the carriers and the mothership because obviously zerglings and roaches um, they might have decent reach but not that decent crap the count also seems very low he is getting more and he is getting his upgrades he's going for plus two for the flyer upgrades which is great but I wonder if it's too little Oh, this is quite tight. It's hard to predict he's going to take this. Couple of good force fields, couple of good storms here. The army is jumping on... Actually, Baal's hitting on those carriers. Um, okay, everything I said about Sue's army, just ignore... Oh, never mind. Changed my mind halfway through again. The Archon's still standing, doing some good work. The carriers are not dead. And actually, look at Sue's supplies. Sue lost a lot more supply in that one. Oh my goodness. That engagement looked very messy. But it went quite heavily in favor of Harston, actually. That being said, Sue's already almost maxed out again. I don't think he minds the engagement too much. He had the minerals and he needed to restock up a little bit on corruptors and things like that. Gone very Zerg heavy again. Zergling heavy. Courageous zealots going for the base alone. And the swarm is coming to stop them. Yeah. Sorry, Zealots. You did your best. Your life for hire. Or your wife for hire, whichever one. I don't think too much is gonna be get gonna get done here. Ah, say that. Two workers. But yeah. The run by is not having quite the same effect as they did early in the game for Hastem. Immortal is completely out of position, gets picked off here. Oracle gonna try to tag the army if it doesn't die first. Ooh, storms. Storms at the ready. Hostum looking for some juicy storms on these corruptors. Hello, changelings. Couple more zealots running around the base. Or the, the map at this stage is pretty much split straight in half. Um. I would like to see Hostum take this one, but obviously he has just secured this base, and it is fine for the Zerg to be up one base. Okay. Now what I said about the Zealots? Never mind. They've still got some value. That's a lot of Archons in this army. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight. That's a good amount of Archons. Oh, wait, I could just do that. Right? Then I don't have to count. There's more Archons than there are Carriers. Obviously Corruptors. Not very good against Archons. Whoa, I'm missing it. There's a giant engagement here into the natural. Um, okay, Sue's got his Lings. Destroying the natural. He's pulling his army back here. Trying to deal with this. A uh, couple of good storms. I almost want to say he was better off just pushing. Good dodges there for the Corrosive Biles. So as much as he did do a lot of damage there, Hostum is still pushing. And Sue's army is not the same as what it was. These storms have been doing their work. Time Warp going down, the Corruptor's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, the army was just not there for Sue. And Hostum, after building up his force and just being defensively solid, takes the game. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like the video if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and your support, and I'll see you in the next one.